Hey guys, Funplace here, and welcome to something that is a little bit different. Wait, can I turn to pixel dip? No, that is not- oh my god, what the heck is- what the- <laughs> Let's be Ash for today. <laughs> hey guys, Funplace here, and welcome back to another video. Today is a very special video, because- I am recording as Ash. I don't know. I'm on a flatland world, and I'm going to be building something today. And I haven't built anything on the channel in the past, except for like the mini town series, which was interesting. Um, so yeah, today I'm thinking of building a theme park, like a like one of those big theme parks with like the big castles and stuff. I'm totally not stealing this idea from Smallish Beans, who's also doing a theme park challenge, but I don't know. If you guys like this, I will continue it, but the first, I don't really know how this is going to work, um, because I'm probably going to get carried away and build a lot more, uh, but what I'm thinking of doing is building, like, a gate kind of thing. I don't know how big it should be, like, maybe, like, that no it's five um maybe that big and then like build that up and make it all elaborate you know what i'll be back when that's done okay so i'm back i got a little bit carried away just a tiny bit carried away and i kind of stole this from universal studios so what we have here is the opening gate and a chicken uh it has several pillars and foliage and rails and beauty and stuff and then once you walk past the opening gate you have um this was actually izzy izzy came on earlier and uh played around with some stuff um so she added some characters that are like the the attractions is that yoda i think that's yoda and then i stole the universal globe so this thing is just way bigger than it is in real life compared to the gate um but who cares question mark um yeah anyway uh i also built like a mini castle over there i think that's probably going to be the biggest one we have for now uh, i don't know if i want to put in another one today but um i'll be back in like a second and i'm gonna build a little bit more i'm maybe gonna time lapse it maybe that's like a strong maybe because it takes a long time to build all this and i'll be back in a second with a ton of lag You know what? You guys are gonna name this park. I don't know what it's called, but go into the comments down below and name our beautiful park. So let's start at the beginning and come around. So on entry, you have this large gate with the swaying leaves and turning off auto jump. Um, then you have our wonderful princesses, if they are princesses, question mark, some weird trees that kind of 
form this arch and some foliage and then the giant globe. So this is all stuff you've already seen. But look at the water. It's so beautiful. Very still for some reason. Um, these are like kind of support things. I don't know. I tried to make it look old by adding like the leaves to make it seem like it's a old park. Not really sure. And then I added this hedge maze. So yeah, <laughs> the best I've got. Then we've got this castle, which is like one of my favorite things that we have so far. Uh, which is like this little ticket stand. So when you enter the park, you have like general admission entrance, and you click through. And you walk through here. Yeah. And that's my favorite part. And this is the back of the castle. And you have this little awning. And I'll turn down my render distance even more. Um, so then over here, you have an awning. You have some more foliage. And pond. It's a very nice little pond. Um, the lily pads look very nice on the pond. Um, this one's the same thing. Just notice detail because I didn't realize that that didn't copy over um, and then we have I don't know why I could turn it down my room. then we have the carousel which took me a very long time to build actually kind of copied but not really uh, a design that I saw off the internet and then I changed it up to make it look fancier I just decided to build like another variation of a carousel so has a snake over it, I think, if that's what it's supposed to be. <laughs> I had some help with this, so, um, yeah. It's very dark in here, so let me grab a... And with shaders, it's very dark. Um, yeah, this is gonna be... What was that? Did anyone... Okay, then. Uh, well, the first one's gonna be, like, a carousel, like a normal carousel, and this one's gonna be, like, bumper boats. I mean, it doesn't really work in the new games, but... Or the new versions, so... But you can still bump, I guess. It'll be fun. This is what we have built so far. And then... Actually, there is one more thing built. Um, but I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try and show that in the next episode, because that is uh, pretty cool. And then we have the grand reveal. We have... the castle. Now, I bet you saw it because I was really bad at hiding it uh, while I was showing off everything else, but this is the main attraction, the giant castle in the center with two unicorns guarding it. That was like a final touch. Um, so, so far I've only done the exterior and I had a lot of help, so do I, I did not do this by myself. Um, oh, I forgot a mash. Uh, <laughs> Um, no, uh, I did not do this by myself. It is incredibly detailed with, <laughs> it's stupid how long this took. It, it really is insane, uh, how much detail was put into this castle with, look, even glass panes making, like, the smallest inch of detail around the back. Izzy did the moat. It looks beautiful. And then we have this little drawbridge. So how about we go out inside to the only room that is done, because it looks epic and I really want to. It's very dark in here. Um, yeah, there's probably a lighting problem that we need to fix, but for now, uh, let's just grab one of these. Yep, that does not work with shaders. Got it. That's noted. Um, anyway, we have a very vast entry room, which I've always wanted to build, because I've never built a castle. This is actually my first castle I've ever built in Minecraft, the place that Izzy helped me with here. And it comes up into, like, a split hallway, and then into this giant room that we haven't even touched. Like, look how big this is. I, I don't know what we're going to do with this. <laughs> like, guys, uh, leave suggestions down below for stuff we can add. Look at the door frame, and then you have this and stuff and stuff. And then, um, downstairs you also have uh, the same hallway and the same branch into that room. So let's start down here. And this is the library. So you walk in, 
There's a large number of books. I wanted to make it go all the way up, but then I thought that would be way too high, so I just stopped it here. Here. So then, of course, there's also this room, which has a balcony that leads nowhere, so you have to actually enter from the bottom. And it looks kind of garbage, because there was a lot of DecoCraft stuff in here, and we had to get rid of it. But this is actually going to be the shop um, with a spiral staircase. So this is like where you go. You're forced to go into the shop if you want to get to the top <laughs> castle. So if you take this up, then you're at the second floor. Currently, there is a giant mushroom wall somewhere, and I want to blow it up. But first, let's check the map. Look at that. So here's here we have the globe, and the yellow carpet makes it stand out much more. I really like the white like lining on everything. So we have the yellow carpet, we have the globe, we have the the gate, we have the hedge maze looks really cool on this map. You are greeted with the carousel, of course, and then you come back and go pff, giant castle. So that's all we have so far. I mean, obviously there's. If I just take that map and reload it, then there's that little snake thing down there. Um, I actually don't know which one of these has the new structure that we built the other day, I believe. It's going to be fun to destroy. Yep, okay. Well, that wasn't too hard to find. Anyway, <laughs> this is the giant mushroom wall. Uh, and here is the structure. So what we were thinking was we were going to build like a tangled kind of thing. It's very, it has a lot of inspiration from Disney. So here's the door. Beautiful light. It's, looks like a rainbow for some reason. Um, no, but the castle it has, it looks like it's been through a lot. Um, so we just turned it into a tower instead. So that's pretty, pretty beautiful. And, uh, yeah. So, that's about it for this episode, guys. If you have enjoyed uh, watching this update for the theme park, and if you want to see more, be sure to hit that like button. Um, I'll definitely keep making it. I don't know if I'm going to keep updating you guys um, on the progress, but um, there is definitely going to be some more updates. Look at this up here. Uh, I'm going to stand at the top of the castle and look down on everything. You can't even see the entire park from up here. That's how tall this structure is. Um, there. It's very straight line right now. It's very... Uh, it's in a straight line uh, at the moment, but I plan to fix that. I'm not going to leave it like this. Um, next time, I think we're going to branch out from this way. There's going to be another one of these castles, or maybe something else to differentiate it. Like, I think maybe we could have an aquarium, or a water park, or something. But anyway, that is going to be me, Ash Ketchup! No, that's not Ash Ketchup. I don't know what to... Come on, Pikachu! I choose you! Yeah, Thunderbolt! Actually, are you ready? Alexa, enable Pikachu talk. Oh, you can't hear it. I got an Amazon Echo in here. We got a Pikachu. I don't know. If, I don't know if my microphone can hear it, but we got nice Amazon Echo Pikachu. Pikachu. Nice to meet you, Pikachu. We don't even get to talk to him yet. <laughs> I find this hilarious. Alexa, stop. <laughs> Pikachu is not happy with that. She has been killed? Oh no. Anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy uh, that random crap at the end and this theme park so far. There's actually like a few shops that we were starting to build over on the side there. I hope you did enjoy. Uh, be sure to come back next time and maybe I will see you there. Well, I will see you there. I don't know. Bye-bye guys.